Hey everyone, Drew here back at VCS 2017 at the IM3 booth. I am joined by Dr. Persky, a facial plastic surgeon from Los Angeles. Welcome. Thank you. Thanks for joining us. It's good to be here. How's the show going so far? Show's incredible. Um, I've been coming to this show since it's uh, since it, it actually began in Newport Beach. You're kidding me? No, and uh, that's where I live. Small little room, <laughs> and when it outgrew Newport Beach about 14 years ago, uh, Dr. Waldman brought it to Las Vegas. Okay. Uh, it's a great show. It's stimulating and it keeps our minds growing. So how has this show evolved over the course of that those 14 years, right? Well, obviously it's grown a lot bigger. It, we had a, maybe 100 people and now there's thousands. Oh, wow. Uh, what's been consistent about this show and what I really love about it is the, f the, the, sh the sharing of information mm -hmm. and it's cutting edge information. In fact, I, I thanked Dr. Waldman and Chad Ham and Sauls, who are the chairman of this uh, meeting. Yesterday, during my presentation, I spoke on volumization of the cheeks. Okay. Uh, and what I said was, thank you very much because my practice would not be what it is today. I would not be the physician I am today. And uh, the work that they've done in putting this meeting together. Wow, that's an has, endorsement right there. Has, has allowed my patients to get much better care. It, it keeps me Although I've been in practice since 1985, I feel like I'm on the cutting edge all the time. Beautiful. Let's talk a little bit about that session that you were presenting on. What was it? It was, um, it was called The Most Powerful Tool in Non-Invasive Facial Rejuvenation. And, and what I discovered in, uh, over, over the years is that volumization of the cheeks mm -hmm. is a most powerful non-invasive tool. Okay. Because it helps with tiredness under the eyes, sure. dark circles, hollows, nasal labial folds, uh, the corner of the mouth, as well as the jawline. It's a great treatment. It's 10 minutes, and uh, patients so could go Are we talking there. fillers? or We're talking about appropriately placed fillers okay. in the right place. Um, and again, I think it's very important for patients to remember when they're choosing somebody to go to aesthetically okay. that artistic vision is so important because without artistic vision, mm -hmm. patients can have a technical success, sure. yet aesthetic failure. Yeah. And uh, we find that- I like the way we, you put that. Yeah, we fail our patients if it's obvious that they've had something done. Patients sure. want to have a natural look nowadays. Let's talk a little bit about, about your practice then. So what are you specializing in or what, what do you, what's popular at your practice? So uh, we, we range Everything in facial plastic surgery. Okay. The only things we do uh, down below the neck are some body tightening, uh, fat freezing, cool sculpting, uh, cool sculpting, okay. and uh, venous freeze. Okay. Uh, but it's it's strictly I've, over the over the past few years since my since I've been in practice, our practice is really a facial plastic surgical practice, and we okay. range every from everything from the smallest little line in a millennial to the the, the greatest latest facelift sure. along with all the technologies. We have a Great. technology that we just brought into our practice called Profound and it's probably the the strongest lifting tightening non-surgical procedure How does that, that work? patients can have. Uh, these incredible engineers uh, is, it a, is it laser? It's not laser it's it's multiple micro needles okay. that go underneath the skin mm -hmm. they, they, they heat the skin up using mm -hmm. radio frequency energy and stimulate collagen elastin and a hundred percent of the patients see a, a really nice result fascinating yeah. what's the name of your practice name of my practice is persky sunder facial plastic surgery okay i was uh, in solo practice for about uh, 20 years and in the last five years i was very fortunate to um, meet someone who is like-minded. Uh, she's an incredible surgeon. She now does the facelifts on our she practice. She does partner together. And I do more of the, I still do rhinoplasty, okay. eyelid surgery, okay. and a lot of the fillers and non-invasive laser Beautiful. tightening treatments. Cool. Good stuff. Yeah. All right, let's pivot here for a little bit. I want to ask you some personal questions about yourself. Okay. Just get to know you a little better. Nothing serious until the last one. Just kidding. <laughs> uh, what's your favorite color? My favorite color is blue. Nice. You look good in blue. You're the third person that said blue who was also wearing blue. Yeah. And you also look good in blue. The color of trust. That's a good point. So what is, do you, are your, the colors of your practice, is the branding blue or no? Um, actually, my director 
of operations is responsible for that, and she's done a beautiful job. Uh, I'm but not it, even sure what our branding <laughs> colors are. I'm, I'm busy taking care of patients. Right on. Just wondering. Cool. Uh, are you a sports fan? I'm a big sports fan. What's your favorite sport? Well, I, I you know, it's Stanley Cup time right now. Okay, so, so hockey? I, I love ice hockey. Who are you going for, Pittsburgh or Nashville? I'm going for Nashville because they okay. came in eighth, and uh, our Los Angeles Kings came in eighth and won the Cup one year. So okay, so you're King. I was going to say Kings or Ducks. So. I mean, I like, I like the Pittsburgh Penguins as okay. well, Pittsburgh fans. But they won it last year, so let's give Nashville some love. Yeah, in Nashville, it's 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 so shocking to me to think about Nashville, not the team, but Nashville having a hockey team. It's just oh, funny, right, you know. Right. You never think about it. So, how did you get into? How did you like hockey? Or did, are you from back east? Did you play hockey growing up? Or no, no, no. Born and raised in Los Angeles. Okay. Uh, hung out at the beach. Played okay. a lot of baseball. I was a baseball pitcher. Okay. I don't tell many people this, but I yeah. pitched a perfect game in high school. I no don't kidding. remember the date, but it was uh, March twenty third, nineteen seventy one, <laughs> against University High School. That's huge. Yeah, I was in University Arizona. High School is in yeah. Irvine. Yeah. Well, there's one in, in Westwood. Oh, in okay, Los okay, Angeles. Yeah. yeah. Gotcha. What high school so, did you go to? Uh, I went to Hamilton High School. Okay. And then I went to UCLA. Beautiful. I left LA for a short time to go to Emory Medical School and then came back and did my residency at uh, LA County USC Medical Center. Cool. So born and raised and grew your business in LA. Exactly. Sweet. So why'd you get into pla- or facial plastic surgery? Um, I wanted to help people. Actually, yeah. no, I, I, I went into um, facial plastics because I just felt a natural affinity to it. I was trained in head and neck surgery as well as facial plastics and reconstruction. Mm -hmm. Um, I just found that the patients, although I I did a lot of big head and neck surgery, um, I I preferred the reconstruction of of the face and and I found I was good at it. So what do you love most about your job? What I love most about my job is again, is the um, immediate gratification seen in patients after we treat them helping people, making them happy. It's happy medicine, and um, it's always different. And I get to use um, my artistic vision in a fun way to help people. Yeah, beautiful. Do you have any unique talents outside of what you do, obviously, as a facial plastic surgeon? Um, You can dance. (laughs) Unique unique talents. I, you know, there's too many to enumerate right now. I love playing golf. Okay. So, uh, are you good? Spent a lot of time. I'm a, like a seven handicap right wow. now. Could be better. Okay, I talked to one person who said they were a 14 handicap, so you got them beat. Well, I uh, know. Once I give him the strokes, he might take money from me. That's true. <laughs> okay, cool. Last question. Okay. If you can be any kind of animal, what animal would you be? And why? You'd be a koala bear. Yeah? Yeah. Why? Because they get, they, get, they get hugged a lot, and I like love. And Aren't they endangered the species, though? <laughs> well, they, yeah. Anything, anything that's really good becomes endangered very good point because you know people are always wanting to knock that down but i think you have to be true to yourself you have to give a lot of love and and you know what cool. you give you get back i like it right well thanks doctor Thank thanks you. for joining well, us wow, yeah what a pleasure have a good rest nice of your show you. thank you so much you're welcome